what is up you guys I'm not magic here and I took a little break from PC and um, I'm playing I'm playing some Xbox now and I got a Moab on bootleg with the ACR and I know the ACR is not the most underpowered weapon it's pretty good uh, and I've had people like cause I was getting uh, Moabs with the MP7 and guns like that like overpowered ones that people kind of complain about uh, so I have two things to say to you. First one is that this isn't really a gameplay based channel like you guys or most of my subs usually subscribe to me for my commentaries and you know I try to do my best to put the best gameplay. Um, so don't bitch too much about the gun that I use because my second reason is that uh, I have a coach. I had a coach in seventh grade. For, you, for those of you who don't know I'm left handed and in basketball when you go up for a layup on the right side you're supposed to use your right hand and on the left side you're supposed to use your left hand. So. Uh, I would always use my left hand no matter what side I was on. And it's not a bad thing to go up with your left hand on the right side. It's just you're not supposed to do it that way. It's easier to block. And when you get to upper levels, it just you can't do it. And now I could lay up right-handed no problem. But back then, 7th grade and before, it wasn't happening. So I had a travel ball coach that told me, Drew, you need to lay it up with your right hand. And I told him, would you rather me do a layup with my right hand and miss it or do a layup with my left hand and make it? And he, he kind of just sat there like, all right, whatever. Like he wasn't, he didn't even care anymore. So I'm going to say the same thing here. Would you rather me get really good gameplay with really good guns or average gameplay with underused guns? Because I personally don't think the gun matters. Um, that being said, this is a really good gameplay. and Probably one of my best Moabs. It's pretty quick. Uh, getting really close to the two minute mark. I think it's like three minutes and six seconds or something. I'm not really sure. I don't time them. I just, I just kind of guess based on how long it looks, but. Uh, it's really good, and as you saw for the first kill streak, I was kind of going hard on everyone. Uh, but anyways, so today I went and got a haircut, and I know that doesn't sound like much, and it was actually funny because when I went in there, the dude that I was sitting next to, like apparently the barber like shaved a little bit of his, like got a little bit under the skin, so he was bleeding everywhere, and so it took a while to get a haircut. And it was just, it was terrible. Um, I don't know. I was not happy with that. But it actually reminded me of a story, which I'm going to tell you guys right now, where I think this was, it was either 7th grade or 8th grade. It was when I was in my skater phase, and you know, for most skaters, skaters have long hair for the most part. And if I can find a picture on my computer, I'll show one of you guys, of me with my long hair. I'm sure you guys will enjoy that, so if you see one at the end of the video, then yeah, that's me. Um, but I don't know, I don't know if I have one on this computer. Anyways. So I had long hair, and I think it was going into high school, I kind of decided, because I was starting to get more into basketball again, I was starting to get out of skating, and I kind of was not digging the long hair anymore. It was kind of tedious to do, you know, I had to wake up like an hour before school, just so, because my hair, like, because I would always like get it wet and it wouldn't dry completely, because I wouldn't use a blow dryer, because I'm not a faggot, but, uh, so it, my hair would always be wet, and you know... I don't know, it just, whenever I went to school with wet hair, it would always get, like, frizzy and messed up and shit. I was a fucking girl, dude. Like, no joke. So, I always got up, like, an hour before school just to do my hair, which was fucking retarded. Like, I didn't do my hair, but I just, like, to wash it and dry it and just kind of, like, not do anything with it just so it dried properly. Um, so, anyways, I wasn't really digging the long hair anymore. I wanted short hair again, you know, I was, it was just, it was getting annoying, it was always in my eyes, um, and I didn't like the way it was growing anymore, it was just, it wasn't, I wasn't digging it. So I was, all my friends still had long hair and everything, and I was a little worried because as we all know, when you have long hair, when you go from long hair to short hair, like when you go from one extreme to the other, it's kind of a big deal in school, at least for me it was, and you know, people kind of are kind of talking about, it. like that's kind of the talk of school for like about a week, and it takes about two to three weeks before people fully adjust to it, so you know, I was, I was a little worried of getting those weird looks, and I had recently just broken up with my girlfriend, who I've actually asked multiple times, like, if I cut my hair, would you break up with me? And she's all like, I would not like if you broke, or if you cut your hair, so I never did, but since we broke up, I was just like, alright, now nah, I gotta cut my hair. So I didn't really want to go to a barber, I thought the best way to do this would actually to have my friends cut it, and it, it, my logic behind this was pretty solid, I mean, I was basically thinking, you know, hey, if I have my friends cut this, then it wouldn't be as awkward the next day at school when I had to show everyone, you know, my friends would already be, my friends would already know about it and it wouldn't be as big of a deal. My friend already had a barber thing and everything, like, he had the little thing that they put around you, like, the little mat, uh, he had the, the shavers and everything, and he had a, he didn't really have a barber chair, I was just, like, in an office chair in his backyard, and so him and my other friend were just going at it, they were cutting my hair, and you guys know the little trimmer that they use on your sideburns and a little bit on your back? 
Uh, one of my friends had that, the one that didn't really know what he was doing. The other dude was actually not doing too bad of a job. It didn't look too bad. It was a little, little shaggy and a little uh, chopped up. But my other friend took this and he was trying to clean up my back and he slipped and it went up like towards the, I don't know, left side of the back of my head. And it was just terrible. Like I had this just strip of hair missing from the back of my head. And my first reaction was that they were joking when they when I like saw them. He's like, oh, should I cut the back of your hair? I'm like, nah. And when I finally saw him, I'm just like, okay, okay, I can, I can cover it up. I can, it'll grow back. That shit took four months to grow back. I was not happy at all, dude. And it was terrible because that definitely was the talk of the school for, for however long. And I sat in the front of the classroom for a bunch of classes. So girls behind me would always be laughing. I'd be like, fuck, dude, this is terrible. Man, I still get shit for that, too. And actually, the friend that did it felt so bad that when he cut it, he's just like, all right, Drew, you know what? I'm sorry. And he, like, took it the shaver to the back of his head. But he had long hair, so he could just cover it up easily. But still, it's still, I didn't, I wasn't too pissed at him. It was just funny. Fuck, dude, that was a crazy story. I talked fast for a lot of that, I think. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I think the host migrates pretty soon here, and I die by dead man's hand, and I just get fucking raped the rest of the game. But yeah, it was a pretty sweet Moab. Um, Yeah. Uh, as far as that, I'm trying to get MW2 for my PC, so I may be doing some of those games. Uh, I want to do some COD4 multiplayer on the PC, but I don't want to rank up for it again, so I don't know. I'm going to try to get in Challenge Lobby, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't know. See what happens. But anyways, I'm going to die right here, and yeah, it's the end of my story. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm not Magic, and I'm out.